we left our house at five, about 5.30. Um, we had to take a quick motorbike ride to the BTS, and then we took the BTS to Machit, and now we're, we just jumped in a cab real fast because we've got to make it to the Machit bus station, and we are on our way to a, a little town about, I think it's about two hours past Korad. Um, we're gonna take the bus, and it should take about six hours on the bus, I think. So I am looking forward to a little bit of peace and quiet away from Bangkok. Okay, we made it to Machit, and we gotta go find our our bus. We're going to a little town called Chumpuang. It's in Isan. our bus and we are driving now and I all of a sudden I'm getting really drowsy tired so I need to take it down. So one of my favorite snacks is well sunflower seeds but really any kind of nuts. I got some sunflower seeds. quick lunch break um, and it looks like there's either noodles available over there or which is um, standing in the line for cup gang which is uh, a bunch of different choices over rice in order to cleanse your silverware you dip it into boiling water kills the germs just a quick bus lunch. I got pat ka pao and some mixed vegetables over rice, a bit of chili on there. Yeah, this is a bus lunch in Thailand. Not bad. Us. Chumpuang, the little small town we made it. Um, I have a really good buddy who is teaching English here at this school. So I am hungry though. That lunch at the bus station was not big enough and Ying didn't really eat much. So I'm gonna go search for maybe some grilled chicken, gayang, kaniao and sticky rice. Okay, the first um, should get some fruit, some mangosteen, called mangkut. <laughs> Got some, some mangosteen and some rambutan and some grilled chicken and some sticky rice. Pull off some of this chicken. good. It's a little salty, um, but that's good and moist and delicious. I need the a little sticky rice to go with this. That's why it's salty, to go with sticky rice. Mm. Some tasty grilled chicken. One of the world's great combinations. Sticky rice and grilled chicken with some rambutan. It's pretty refreshing. You can come check that out. It's like a... There we go, and you just you peel off the skin and then you eat the fruit, but there's a seed in the middle. Mm. It's sweet. Um, it's juicy. Very refreshing. And then we got some mangosteen. And I like to open my mango stream from the bottom like this and just kind of like use the pressure method as I call it. And you just kind of pressurize it and it just splits open like that. Pop it open like that and get that white fruit on the inside and just kind of suck it down. Mm. Always a refreshing and sweet fruit as well. 
I am at my friend's school right now, and we are hanging out with some awesome students. Oh you, want to, you want to say hello? Say hello. Do you like to use Instagram? Yes. Oh, okay. This the evening market to buy some food for dinner, and let's see what is available. Walking through a market, it's never a bad idea to have meat on stick. Which is the uh, sausage with beef, well, like a bowl or something. And usually it's with pork, so actually I need chili. It smells awesome. Oh, yeah, it's hot. <laughs> it's really hot. Yeah. Oh. Wow, that is like three quarters fat or rice. And I think it's rice in there. It almost tastes like salami. Chili makes it taste really good. Mm, wow. Actually, it's rice. I think I've never had it. Yeah, there's rice in there. It tastes like salami, dude. Yeah, this thing is pretty good. Um, it really kind of tastes like a salami. But yeah. I'm, I'm liking it, Saikrok with beef. Saikrok with guac. Three dogs. Okay, but anyway, this is a dish that I've never had here in Isan. And it's called uh, Palapong Pad. So Palapong is like a, it's like a fermented fish paste sauce. Um, and we have brought it to this little restaurant and they she chefed it up, she fried it up with, I think, some egg, and then cooked it up with lemongrass, red onions or shallots, chilies, there's garlic. It actually almost smells like chorizo, Mexican chorizo. I used to fry up um, like Mexican spicy sausage fried up with scrambled eggs, and it actually smells pretty similar to, to chorizo. Maybe I can eat this with a tortilla. Cooked it for my first time. Actually, kind of tastes like chorizo soap with fried scrambled eggs. Um, Genki leg, which is this vegetable, which I actually forget the name in English. It's so like earthy, almost like nutty flavor. That was a delicious dinner but we have ended the evening with buying, well, actually we didn't exactly intend to buy it, but just walking through the market and we came across a, a pack of durian that definitely had our name written on it. And this is like ice cream after dinner. It's just, yeah, ice cream, but sweet, bitter, Everything ice cream. Mm. So good. I think that's pretty much it for the day. Uh, we're gonna go to the hotel. The turquoise, the turquoise bed. Oh, check out this, the, the original password for the Wi-Fi. That was a day um, traveling from Bangkok to Chumphuang and just some random eating activities and things. So I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up. Um, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment. I would love to hear from you and thanks again for watching. Mm -hmm.